Here in the AccuGraphs graph window, you can look at your data and it's color coded and classified to help you understand it and interpret it quickly. The bars that are red show an excessive meridian, blue shows deficiency, and purple shows what's called a split, which is a left-right imbalance in the same channel. This baseline graph has all the hand meridians on the left and all the foot meridians on the right. The yin versus yang graph gives you the yin meridians on the left and their average, and the yang meridians on the right. In this case, the patient average is 102 for yin, 108 for yang. In the bi elements graph, the meridians are placed in their element pairs, going from metal, minister, fire, emperor, fire, and so on, each one having its own average. You can see then that most of the pairs are in harmony except for the earth pair, spleen and stomach, with spleen being deficient, stomach showing some excess. That tells us that the earth pair is the most disturbed of the meridian pairs. Similarly, if we look at the five elements chart, we can get the average for each one of the elements. We can also see that metal is the most dominant element or the highest element with an average of 118. When we look at the patient's energy cycle, we start at 3 a.m. during metal time, and we can look right through the day as we go through the time for each one of the meridians, and we can see exactly what the energy is doing. Another way to look at that is to go to the horary clock. Here you can see, starting at midnight at the top, each one of the meridians with its two-hour active time period, and then you can see whether the meridian during its active time is falling within the normal range between the blue line at the bottom and the red line at the top. So for example, from 3 to 5 a.m., that's lung time, and since lung is showing some excess, that might be a time when the patient experiences some symptoms. And this is a great chart for using with patients that have symptoms at a particular time of day. It really helps to illustrate and isolate for that patient exactly what's going on. The ratios chart gives you all kinds of statistical ratios right on one page. Starting over on the left with the chi energy level, it tells you whether the amount of chi energy measured is within the normal range, this green area. Across the bottom we have the yin versus yang balance, and in the middle we have the upper lower and the left right balance. In this case, the patient is very nearly balanced, and so the plus sign is almost directly in the middle of the crosshairs. But the red plus sign will move based on the upper lower and left right balance. The energy stability reading tells us whether we're looking at a very stable graph or not. A stable graph typically has all of the readings within a particular range and doesn't have a lot of excursions going really excessive or really deficient, whereas an unstable graph is very ragged and has a lot of high peaks and low valleys. In this case, the graph is fairly stable, and so the patient has received a good stability score. This gives you a lot of different parameters to look at so you can tell how the patient is changing and how the patient is improving with your care. Then we take all of these statistical numbers, as well as all of the imbalances and the severity of each of the imbalances noted, and we summarize them in what we call our Personal Integrated Energetic, or PI score. The PI score is a single number, based on a scale of 0 to 100, that's designed to give the patient an idea of exactly how well they're doing. In this case, the patient scored 80 out of 100, which is a very good score, as we can see from the left side scale over here. As your patient continues to receive treatment and that PI score continues to improve, it makes it really easy to quantify exactly how much improvement has taken place and to help the patient track how they're doing under your care. It's much easier for a patient to look at that number and understand it than, say, for example, to look at a chart like this or a chart like this and be able to glean meaningful information. The PI score is also color coded so that each of the slices has its own color based on its imbalance. And the goal, of course, is to have the entire circle green. The ones that are not green are the areas that need to be addressed. It makes it very simple to explain it to your patient. And now the last graph type is the information graph. This is patient-friendly printed information. It talks about each one of the imbalances, the types of things that that channel does and controls, and then the types of symptoms that may be associated with that imbalance gives you the opportunity to talk with your patient about symptoms as well as to help them understand the connection between the energetic balance of their meridians and the symptoms they may be experiencing. As you scroll through, it will also give information about five elements, dietary recommendations, ratios, and custom treatment recommendations. 
So we have all of these different graph types and all of these ways to look at the data to help you get the most from the AccuGraph exam and more importantly to help your patient get the most from it so they understand what it is you're doing and why you're doing it and they really get on board with the treatment plan.